hand so obviously no question that that horse was going to look at the left hand side that is enormous confidence yeah absolutely but um that horse was really with him you could just see running demi rf demeter ninth after dressage on 51.3 former rough kuruman's ride was ninth here in 2012 and they were the winners at carolina international and runners up at the fork already this spring Oh, that horse has a beautiful jump. You see, she got a little bit underneath that table and just was way up in the air over it. She was set to have a fantastic ride. Might have to share it, though, in the quality of this field. That is the uh, other thing to think about. Jesse Phoenix, Pavarotti, Philip Dutton trading aces, uh, taking over the lead on um, 52.5. And we get a good look at Marilyn galloping along here. The horse set has settled nicely into an, a good rhythm here. As she comes to the hammock, it's been on the course since the very beginning. The very first four star here, uh, that hammock has went in and a great uh, sort of a breather spot on the course. You know, good to have a couple of straightforward fences to let the horses have a little bit of a mental break. Marilyn, a top level show jumper before she took up eventing as well. She's ranked 20th in the world and has been inside the top 10. And she's only been eventing for just over three years. And in that time, she's started five and completed three four stars and you can bet she's got her eye on the world championships this summer looking to prove herself with this horse putting the horse right back where she sees where she is just tipping the toe oh that was a very brave line she was well inside that bush you know she was um, on a very direct line there to that corner and that horse stayed very straight the jump off line. The jump off line, that's exactly what it was. Well, she certainly has had lots of practice with those. Great angle on this camera here. It's good to get some perspective on how fast these horses are traveling, covering that ground. Oh. It doesn't take a pull. I mean, and that is four stop. That is going to be maximum height, maximum width, a little bit higher than maximum plane height because it's brush topped as well. And. Uh, you cannot take a pull. You've got to just jump it out of your stride. Otherwise, you're going to start coming down on time. And here she is now. The horse is quite long here, so she's got to get that horse a little bit on a shorter stride, a little bit bouncy or more collected canter, which she does, finding the line. Very catty movements from the horse there. You can see as she was getting her organized on the line, the horse just getting on her feet. Marilyn back later on with RF Smoke on the water as well, who could be something of a breakthrough hit. Karen and Marilyn think a lot of that grey horse, and she did a good dressage as well. And just over, that's just about the halfway point when they're up at the hollow there and they turn for home. Um, a nice downhill run, which, um, boy, Derek uses the ground here to try to trap, you know, trap the riders a little bit. If they get too open, a little bit like she did there, she got pretty open on that. Oh, and again, showing us that jump off line. Do you see yeah. how much more inside she was? That, that is probably the best so far. Absolutely. Just 100% straight through that on the best line. But you, the horse got a little bit long coming down from the, uh, the sheep feeder there. And it, it, she, she just barely got her back in time. But certainly her experience. So three home, 52.5 for Philip Dutton leads the way at the moment with a clear inside the time Marilyn could go in front of course the early early days in this Rolex Kentucky three-day event presented by Land Rover she's having a fantastic round but there still are a couple of difficult combinations coming up she's getting ready to come to the head of the lake so there's lots for her to do there at the head of the lake she could be 10 seconds up on time there Gina that's a good a good place to be at this point in the course that's for sure especially coming to the head of the lake where you yeah. might need to take a little bit more time Get your canter organized, get exactly the shape in the horse's stride that you want. And you can see she's starting to work on it there. She's been riding so economically, the tightest line absolutely everywhere. And that, that's the steady four to that fish in there. Let's see if she stays on her trend of going on these inside lines. Up, oh, she's gonna go around now. She's, cause she bought herself that extra time. Like you said, she was 10 sec seconds up on the clock early giving herself some time to be a little more conservative on that line and 
very nicely through there, right on point. But the choice of those rails, it's a real balancing act, because if you do come the tighter line, you're riding more of a C shape through the entire complex, whereas you've come out, you use a couple of seconds to go to those other rails, you at least have a straight strike at the goose, don't you? Yeah, and it's hard to keep your energy, your impulsion up through that turn. Um, it, it doesn't look that tight on the screen, but the rope, especially if she can make it inside the time, will move her up a lot. Popping up onto the Normandy Bank, ballooning out over the rails, a and mile off the brush. A stride out there. That's uh, Marilyn Little, RF Demeter. Actually helped her get organized for that house, though, because she was so far off of the brush. Uh, the two just came up quite nicely for her. Yeah, having having had a tricky jump over the rails on the top of the bank, standing a mile off the brush, actually put her back into a striding pattern on her way to the house and the out. The keeper's brush is the next on course. Combination were fifth in the Scottish Open Championships at Blair Castle and uh, ran in two CIC competitions in the Netherlands last year as well. And she can just keep coming down to that keeper's brush. You know, it's big enough, uh, the, backs the horses off, holds the horses off of it. So you're turning for home, you're flying for home. You can just keep humming at that. So up by the high hopes, proving ground. Getting her horse back in balance. Perfect distance there. You can see how big it is, what an effort it is. Ah, oh, she chose the left point corner there. She just stayed a little bit left on the high side. Five strides to the left point corner. Purely rider preference there, whether they want to try a right point corner or a left point corner. And she's quite good on her time as well, isn't she? Yeah, uh, she is pretty much bang on. Maybe a little bit of a head uh, at the 10-minute marker. Just for followers, I'll tell you, of uh, Jesse Phoenix and Pavarotti, they have withdrawn. They won't go cross-country today. Perhaps rerouting to another one of the three-day events coming up this spring. All right, now she's... Checking her clock there, seeing where she is on the time. Going to decide how much horse she's got here. I think she's got a good shot of making it, but she wants to make sure she gets this right. I can also update you a little bit, Gina, oh, on Will oh, Fordry. Just a little stumble there. Will had had 20 penalties at fence five, the top water as well, before we picked him up at the Whiskey Barrel corner. So. Oh, there we go. You know, I think Marilyn's horse is just a little tired. She's got two jumps left. She just wants to make sure she takes care of her horse. Gets two good clean jumps here, one to go. Make sure she successfully jumps this last jump. Eight seconds to get home from there. She looks at her watch. She's easing up. Trying to be as close as she can to that <laughs> optimum time. Like I said, there's a prize for being the closest to the optimum time.